All right, so we're joined by Los Angeles Lakers forward Kyle Kuzma, who's here with Old Spice. And with it being March Madness, I wanted to ask you what your experience was like when you made the second round at the NCAA tournament your sophomore year. Um, you know, it was exciting. Um, you know, March Madness is always a great time of the year, especially for college kids. You know, something you kind of you know look up to and look forward to. You know, as you wind down in conference play and conference championships, and you know, for me, I was lucky enough to go to two tournaments, um, freshman year, played the Sweet 16, and then sophomore year, round 32. So, um, you know, they're great experiences. Do you, you have any uh, things to say out there to all the kids that are participating in the March Madness right now? Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, if, uh, if you're one of the, you know, lucky prospects that are, you know, lucky enough to potentially play in the NBA, just to, you know, do what you do. Don't try to, you know, show people what, they want to see, but, you know, do what you do great. And, you know, for just everybody in general, just embrace it. You know, this is one of the best times of your life. You know, you're playing, playing for free, playing for fun, um, playing for the love of the game and not too much business involved. So, um, you know, it's a great time. No, definitely. Please tell me you just watched John Moran put on that show though. Uh, yeah, I did. I watched, um, just a little bit. Um, you know, I'm over here doing some content, but, uh, yeah, I saw his stat line. It was nuts. Yeah, he's he, he's going to be good. He's going to be good in the league. Now, moving on to the NBA, I was in Vegas, and I was at all your summer league games the year you got drafted, the ones where you went absolutely off and you won the summer league MVP. People were showing up and talking about Lonzo Ball and Jason Tatum, but you end up stealing the show and end up being the Kyle Kuzma show, honestly. What was it like stealing the show that summer? Um, You know, it, it was great. You know, summer league was a great experience uh, for me. Um, it was my first time in the NBA in- environment and, you know, what better to do in the Vegas, uh, summer league. That's you know the best summer league out there. Uh, I think it's the only one now too, but, um, you know, it, it was super fun. You know, it was my first time, you know, getting in front of a lot of, you know, people that haven't really seen me play before. Cause I went to school in Utah and, um, you know, I, I was able to really go out and compete and, um, you know, show what I could do. So. Yeah, no, definitely. Now, speaking of Lonzo, it's well documented that you guys like to have fun and you like to have fun with the ball family on social media. What's something that's misunderstood about Lonzo that you know? Um, you know, Lonzo, he's a great kid. Um, you know, he's a very in- innocent guy. Um, you know, you know, pe- people will give him a bad rep just for everything that kind of goes on with, you know, him and his family's life. But, you know, he- he's a great guy. Uh, team first, um, you know easy person to talk to and you know he, he's just a real genuine person yeah yeah no doubt now has Lomelo tried to test you one-on-one yet um no no I haven't I haven't played him uh I've been in the gym with him at all but um you know I, I've seen him play before okay now I know the season hasn't gone as planned for you guys but if you could find one silver lining in it what would it be um the silver lining um you know just just my development just how um, you know, for me, just continuing to grow in this league and uh, find my way. Um, you know, it's you know easy to you know pop up on the scene where you have no expectations. And I kind of went into my year two with some expectations from people, and then you know I think um, I did a good job handling those and playing up to my ability. So, no, uh, certainly. Now, me and you were about the same age. Growing up with LeBron James being a superstar, what's it been like to watch him growing up and then getting the opportunity to play with him under the bright lights? No, uh, it's great. I mean, he's been one of my favorite players um, ever since I've you know been fell in love with the game. Um, you know, to watch him as a as a kid and then eventually play with him as I you know twenty three year old man, uh, you know, is, is super special. Um, so yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, so with you being yeah. close to LeBron. What role is he about to give you in Space Jam too? <laughs> um, I, I I hope to have one. Um, no, we have never talked about it, but you know, I could see myself having an acting career after this basketball thing is over. Um, you know, it would definitely would be pretty cool to be in that movie. So, no, I hear you. Why? Well, uh, you talk with Kobe before the season. What were some of the words of advice that Kobe gave you before the season started? Um, I mean. You know, just the same things he kind of always says, um, you know, what he's known for. He's he's known for, you know, hard work, um, you know, living in the gym, um, outworking the competition and, you know, just having a different type of, you know, mindset going into, you know, uh, new territory, new year and 
um, you know, just trying to show myself. So, yeah. And so I know you're a pretty fashionable guy. What do you think? The, who do you think is the top five most stylish players in the NBA right now? Uh, top five. Um, man, I don't know about top five. Got top three. I give you, I can give you, um, I like, I like how LeBron dresses. I like how James Harden dresses. Um, Russell Westbrook and dress. Um, you know, there's a few guys, you know, the, the NBA is really expanding. Um, you know, that, that runway tunnel is, um, you know, a way guys, a way guys can express, you know, themselves and, you know, broaden their brand. So, you know, there's a lot of guys that are up and coming and, you know, dressing really well. So, yeah, no, I, I feel that list. I was about to say, you always have to mention Brody when you're talking about fashion. So I'm, I'm glad you at least threw him in the mix. Now, stay in fashion. Are you a sneakerhead? And if so, can you give me a couple pairs of your favorite shoes? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I, I would say my favorite shoe um, is definitely the Jordan One. Um, you know, it's classic silhouette. Um, you know, you could wear that. You could dress it down, dress it up, uh, wear it with dress pants, wear it with jeans, shorts, whatever. And um, you know, for me, that's you know the original shoe that you think of for sneakerhead. So. Yeah, yeah. Any other shoes that stick out to you? Um. I mean, there's a lot. Um, I like all Kobe Bryant shoes. There's some, some main shoes I play in. Um, you know, Air Force Ones are timeless. Um, you know, all the new Nike uh, running shoes, the Reacts. Um, you know, all, shoes are all great. So. No, I got you. I got you. So, yeah. being a being, being a Midwest boy, what is your favorite part about Los Angeles? Uh, I would have to say my favorite part about Los Angeles is just the vibe. Um, it's always sunny out. You always catch a, catch the breeze, and you know it's for the most part easy living out here, uh, especially for you know the portion of the town I live in. Um, you know, not too many worries, and um, you know it, it's chill out here. So, no, I can understand it. So, you're partnered with Old Spice. Do you want to take a minute to tell the people about some of their new amazing products? Uh, yeah, you know Old Spice is, um, you know, ha- has developed a collection called Fresher. They have two types of things that are kind of new. Uh, one is moisturizer with uh, shea butter, and the other one is relax with lavender. Um, you know, so many times you go into the bathroom, and you, whether you're a kid or you have a girlfriend or a wife, and you always see, you know, women's products for body wash and, you know, all the types of different things that women have. But uh, Old Spice is doing a really neat thing that, you know, they're they're broadening it to, you know, men. So men have different type of body washes and scents and, um, you know, things that you can find um, all over the place. So, uh, well, Kyle, I really appreciate your time today, man. And I know soon enough, y'all be back in the playoffs again. Good luck the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, man, thanks for your time. Yeah, appreciate it.